because ultimately my company can only be as good as the team. For example, there is a number 52 square and a child could immediately say the answer is 2704. The purpose was to ignite that passion or to dispel the fear of math. So I thought of doing it in an auditorium and then 800, 1000 people would come at a time and they would attend my shows. I dropped out from my engineering college. So then when I met my friends, I realized that they had done their engineering, then they did their MBA or their PhDs and they were, some of them were settled abroad. And then I started thinking that, oh, I should have not left my engineering. Even, you know, I could have got a chance to work abroad or to stay abroad. But then I couldn't turn the clock back. So I thought the only way was to start a business in Singapore. So then in 2007, I came to Singapore and I started a tuition center. I was just teaching like myself. So just one student, one to one, then two students, three students that way, you know, we started and that's how we built it. When I was teaching math, I realized that some kids have a fear towards numbers. And I studied Vedic maths and I realized that some of the calculations could be done very easily. I would teach them how to multiply a two-digit number with a two-digit number in just one step. Or I would teach them how to square a two-digit number orally. So they could, like if say for example there is a number 52 square and a child could immediately say the answer is 2704. I mean it could be as fast as this. So that really gave them a kick because otherwise they would have to do 52 times 52 with the traditional method and then use three steps. Whereas this would just be in one step. So a lot of kids would love it. And then they started feeling that, hey, math is not so difficult. You know, it is easy, I can do it. The purpose was to ignite that passion or to dispel the fear of math. So then I thought, why not? Because in a class, I can only teach 30 or 40 people at a time. So I thought, let me do a new concept. And so I thought of doing it in an auditorium and then 800, 1000 people would come at a time and they would attend my shows. And it just picked up. I mean, people would come, it would be more like a family outing. Children would come with their parents, grandparents, and they would have a nice family time, a relaxed evening, but at the same time they would learn. And then eventually we did around 400 shows I did all over the world. Singapore has, I think, uh, like most of the parents, who have come from other countries and all, they have been very successful and I think they feel that one of the reasons why they are successful is that they had a very good education or they really pushed themselves, they worked very hard. So they also want their children to make the best use of the education and be successful in life because if, if you have a good degree and if you have studied subjects that you love, chances of you being successful are slightly higher. So I think the parents also equally want their kids to do well and because we do one-to-one -one and we customize the services, people prefer it because what happens is even if you go to the best of the schools, you have the best of the teachers, but there will always be some areas where your child will need help. And what we do is we support them. So we are not running that a tuition center where a child comes every week because our program is very flexible where they come only when they want to come. I had never thought that uh, Math Vision would become such a big institution. I mean, you know, when I even came to Singapore, I just thought that maybe I would be having 20, 30, 50 students. I'll be just living a comfortable life and, you know, I might be enjoying what I'm doing. But it so happened that when I started teaching, I realized that students loved the way we were teaching. And then, you know, I had to hire more and more teachers, train them. And then once we had a lot of students in Math, parents came to us saying that, look, my children are doing very well in math. Why don't you start science? Why don't you start economics, business, computers? And that is how we started adding one by one the subjects. And today we have 4,000 students studying here. You cannot run a business like this, you know, without that passion. So I think that passion exists not only in me, I have to also transfer that passion into the team. Because ultimately my company can only be as good as the team. Because now I don't teach, I only overview the training and I only see how the students are being taught. So obviously the challenge is to transfer this passion into each and every teacher. So we are successful and now I have a very good team and I think a lot of teachers are with me for many years. So it makes it a bit easier. First thing I always tell students is that you must 
you must understand the subject when you are studying. Don't just memorize. If you have not understood, spend a lot of time with my teachers. Ask them again and again till you understand. Because once you understand a subject, obviously it's easier for you to apply the concepts and it is much easier to even get a love towards the subject. Obviously, once you have understood, you also need to do questions so that you learn how to apply these concepts. I never wanted to open a business, right? I wanted to keep it as a passion. Even today, I try to keep it as a passion. So definitely, I have no intentions to open more centers. I just have one center and that was very clear from day one because with one center, I can control the quality. I can always be there and things are in control. The moment I open three, four, five centers, I am 100% sure that the quality could get diluted. I, I don't want to grow very fast because the problem is it is not easy to hire teachers and to train them. So I can only cater to that many students, as many teachers as I have. So what I always do is I first see whether I have teachers. If I have the teachers, then I slowly take more and more students. Otherwise, I do not take the students.